Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I'm feeling somewhat verklempt. The reason is I discovered a product which I should have known about ages ago. It's called Mixmax. It's a Gmail tool designed to help us manage our email, not from a productivity and information overload point of view, but from a communication and interaction point of view. It crosses into the CRM or customer relationship management space by allowing us to know what's happening with our emails once we send them out into the wild world of the online interwebs. Oh, it's an exciting product. I think you're going to want to check out today on Dotto Tech, Mixmax. As I mentioned, every once in a while a product comes along and I go, how in the world did that slip my notice until now? And Mixmax is one of those. They say they make email awesome and I kind of got a feeling that they might be accurate here on their homepage. So what is Mixmax and how does it all work? I've set up the, an account and I've just started working with it, but I'm really impressed with the functionality that it brings to the table. This is not a tool that's going to help you overcome email overload, dealing with your email. No, 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 no. Instead, what it is going to do is it's going to help you understand what's happening with your email as it goes out and also to create different assets within your email that add to the communication functionality of said email. That's a mouthful, Steve. Let me show you. What we see here, once you've signed up for Mixmax, which you can do for free, once after a 30-day trial, it's about $10 a month for the basic version. Uh, but this dashboard gives us a live feed of all of the emails that we've composed within Mixmax. And within Mixmax, you will compose emails that are interactive in nature. Allow me to show you. Uh, what it does is it gives us a, a summary of all of the emails that we sent. But let's say that we want to set up a meeting with some of our coworkers. Now, you can use, if you've signed up for and purchased a scheduling tool, you can certainly use a scheduling tool, but lots of us don't have scheduling tools. In that particular case, you can do it within Mixmax. So I created very quickly, and I'll show you just, I'll show you before we're done just how easy it is to do. I created a little template. So let's say I'm gonna be sending Jen an email asking her to set up a time with me for a meeting, and I'm going to use this meeting request template that I created. So I created this template and it says, uh, here's my current available. Let me know if any of these times work for you. I actually haven't put any times in yet. That's because this is where the magic of Mixmax starts. Creating a templated email, that's pretty cool, but it's nothing outrageous. This is very cool. You roll your mouse over top of the enhance menu down here. And there is, I believe, a cornucopia of different digital assets that we can now place within this email, including all of these different calendaring options, surveying options. We can incorporate media and other communications tools. We can incorporate social tools. All can be incorporated into our email. And let me show you how it comes together. I'm going to share my availability with Jen by clicking here on share availability. Now Mixmax launches my calendar app and it, it brings up my calendar and it shows me my availability. It allows me to just highlight here by clicking and dragging times that I have available for a meeting. And so that I, I click here to insert the time and now it's included and inserted as a sort of a meeting invitation, but there is a grid of options for Jen to accept. If she clicks on any of these, she can set the meeting time with me and I will get an email notification back that she has set the time. How brilliant is that? Now there are tools that do this. Uh, there's lots of great scheduling tools out there where you can share your schedule and people can enroll with your, with, with your calendar in order to schedule your time. But those are apps that we have to pay for, set up and manage. This is all built right in to this Mixmax dashboard, a tool that I think I would use an awful lot. Oh, by the way, you can also do kind of boomerangy type things by sending this later and controlling that. And take a look here in the bottom, you also have the ability to track opens. Now the tracking clicks and downloads, you have to upgrade to about a $30 a month package for that, but just tracking opens is available in the basic package. So I can take a look here now and see that I sent Jen this meeting time and that she has opened it. Now I haven't received the calendar invite, so she hasn't necessarily done that yet, but at least now if I communicate with her, I say, you got the calendar invite, what's holding you up if I, if I wanna communicate that way? So this gives me much more control over the environment of my email. Isn't that cool? It's very sweet how that all comes together. Now let me show you how we set up that template because the template tool is quite easy to do, but I think it's something that you'd use a lot. You set up a new template just by clicking here on new templates 
And then what you do is you type in, you can create a subject and you can also create the content itself, the, the body of the email. Uh, but in here we insert variables and that will do things like pull the first last name, email address and other information from their address as you create it. So you're able to say, hi, Jen, just by addressing to somebody with their uh, email address, it'll then pull their first name and bury it here or embed it here in the email. So I like that a lot. Here we also have the ability to add things like all of the different uh, social assets and other uh, digital assets that we we're talking about, just like the meeting invite that we just created. Now they also give us the ability to use almost this exact same format to create uh, signatures. And in the signatures, you can, of course, incorporate things like your, I, I can create my YouTube feed, which will incorporate a video, which will send a video in. Uh, but I think from, uh, for more of us, we're going to want to put in, oh, actually, they actually will put in a Twitter timeline, which is kind of cool. I got to show you that. I'm just going to highlight that, say number four tweets. It inserts your last four tweets in the timeline. Oh, that's Mixmax. I didn't change the, uh, the email address or the Twitter address. Uh, but, oh, let's go back into that one here. Here we go. And go back into the enhance. And you can also here incorporate the social badges. And here we can add a badge. And I'll say I want to add the Dottotech. So you can get people to sign up for your Twitter uh, account just by clicking there on on the Twitter badge. But you know what I want to do is I want to put my Twitter feed in there just so I can show you that because I messed it up last time. Let's go in and let's go because it was cute. It sends your last four tweets. Yeah, Twitter timeline. And there you go. I've got to put in my... It defaults to the Mixmax one, which is understandable. And look there. It's got my last four tweets or last three or four tweets in embedded here as a part of the as a part of your signature or of the part of the template that you're sending so there's lots of ways that you can enhance your brand by doing this now all of this is only is is kind of amplified by this concept here of the live feed which gives us feedback on how all of the different emails that we've composed within this environment are being handled. Now, when people reply, it'll also appear in our inbox, in our Gmail account, so or in whatever whatever email client we're using. So your email is gonna be living in kind of two places. That's one of the challenges to kind of get your head around with this app, is this is where you manage all of the, the emails that you create this interactivity in, but you're still gonna see them reflected. Replies, et cetera, are gonna be reflected in your normal email client. But here you can see who's opened and who hasn't opened all of the emails that you've got. And if you've done things like creating a poll saying what time are you guys available to meet and then giving them three options the polls are all reflected here in the poll section where it brings in and it combines all of the different uh, feedback from your different uh, from the different people that have registered in this particular case I've got a team meeting poll out and I only have one vote at this point here but I've got a very small team <laughs> but you get the idea of how, how this feedback is going to work for you there are lots of other tools built into Mixmax. This gives you kind of a, a, a quick glimpse at some of the power, but it's something that I'm gonna use for a little while. I think this is a tool which I am really impressed with. Uh, it cross, as I say, it crosses over into the world of CRM functionality. It's got a direct API level integration with Salesforce that you can set up. Uh, it doesn't seem to have integration with any of the other CRMs, but certainly if you're a Salesforce user, Mixmax is something that you should know about as well. Well, I hope that you found today's video to be useful. Now, there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this channel. Secondly, subscribe to our newsletter. That way you'll hear about all of our upcoming events, tutorials, uh, free courses, and paid courses that we deliver here at Dotto Tech. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community-funded channel supported through the generosity of you folks at the crowdfunding site Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page, take a look, and discover what perks are available should you choose to support Dotto Tech and the perks be awesome. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.